COVID-19. We know that there are hundreds, if not thousands, of questions out there. You probably have a lot of questions in your head, and we wanted to do a deep dive tonight to get as far as we can with as many questions answered as we can. So Brooke Katz is working to talk to the experts, listening to what you are wanting to know. Brooke, uh, the questions and also the answers tonight. What'd you find out? That's right, Doug, and we had a lot. I asked people on social media to tell me what kind of questions they would like answered, and as you can imagine, there was a pretty big response. Everything from immunity to the long-term effects of the virus. Questions about COVID-19 keep coming, so we took them to infectious disease specialist at Texas Health Resources, Nikhil Bayani. First up, Colleen asked, does a person gain immunity after having the disease? Well, just like with any viral illness, we hope one would develop an immunity to this. And since this is a new virus, it's really difficult to say. But from a theoretical perspective, you would hope someone would develop immunity. As far as concerns about another wave? That's a good question. Um, at this time, you know, there are varying thoughts. You know, a second wave is possible. And it's the comparison everyone wants to know more about. Chris asking, why should we not be nonchalant about something similar to seasonal flu? Nikki Harrington, is there long term or lifelong damage to the lungs afterwards? Depending on how severe the illness is, all that. Only time will tell. As far as strictly speaking statistics, flu versus coronavirus, Dr. Bayani says the numbers right now don't provide a complete picture. At this point, it's an unfair comparison just because influenza has been around longer and COVID-19 has been around for a shorter time. At this point, you know, both are contagious, but what we are seeing with the COVID-19 being a little bit more damaging, it's certainly the case over the flu. A couple of other questions. Someone asked, what's the best way to clean exposed groceries, things like your tomatoes or your grapes? Dr. Bayani says, you should actually wash, the, wash those with soap and water for 20 seconds, just like you do your hands. And as for how our increasingly hot and humid weather could potentially affect the virus, Dr. Bayani says, there have been reports that the virus is inactive at temperatures above 86 degrees. So it's really a wait and see. So many of the answers, not definitive, Doug, and that is because the experts are really still trying to figure all of this out right along with the rest of us.